Well, it just you know, it was a hard fought. I thought our kids showed a lot of uh, a lot of courage, a lot of toughness. But I gotta I gotta give Mercer, you know, their due. They were they gave us everything that we and more, and they we both have chances, I guess, to kind of put the game away at at some point. Um, you know, they were playing without their best player, which makes it tough. And, but Bob Hoffman is an outstanding coach. You knew his, I knew his team be ready to play, and they they'd execute. But I got, I've got to compliment my guys because they they hung in there, and when when we weren't shooting the ball well at all, especially from the threes and and for the game, we struggled. But but we found a way to win, and hope we'll continue to do that. Any questions? Coach, um, coming down the stretch, you mentioned it already, but can you talk about your team's poise when they had to kind of step up to the free throw line and knock down those big free throws and big moments? Yeah, that was huge. You know, 92% in the second half and then 88 for the game, 89. So, yeah, we had the right people in the game. And I thought Jeremiah making those three free throws, we needed every one of those because we went down there, you know, we took a charge, but it was a block. So those things were – but we had everybody step up. I was happy to see, you know, uh, Kareem – make some free throws because he's really struggling from, from the outside. We got a lot out of Mike Parks. But you're right, the poise and the playing under control is, is, I mean, this is a real great, this is an excellent teaching tool. You know, we can learn a lot from this game as far as time and score and situations, late game situations and how we executed it and what, can, what we can do to improve. So Mike Parks, you said you got a lot out of him, but he didn't play much in the second half or in those two overtimes. Yeah. Or was that the plan going in, or is that just how it No, it's out? never a plan. I don't have a plan, really. We just When the, when the game's going a certain way, we got to have certain people in there to defend. And when they're smaller like that, he has a tough time defending. That's about it. Jeremiah said that in practice you guys shoot a lot of free throws, and the philosophy is shoot each one like it's a game winner. What do you tell your your kids during practice when you guys make them make free throws other than, you know, it's make sure this is a game winner? Well, we do a number of different drills to try to put pressure on players to, you know, and we have a drill called 3-2-1. They have to make three in a row, two in a row, one in a row, and that's kind of the way the game is. You know, you have to make three free throws at one point. You might have a two-shot free throw. We have, might have an M1. And so when they don't make it, they run. All we'll do where the team has to make a, a certain number of free throws or or they run, you know, and so up. But just and then at the end, we have to make 10 in a row before they leave. It's just something we've done. But we didn't shoot the ball well the last game out. So being back here, I think, was a big help. And, and the right people on the free throw line helps also. What was your mindset going into the double overtime? Well, you know, it's it's you know, you just want to be, uh, you want to be under control. You make sure that we psychologically, fellows, that's you know, great job. You want to be positive. Some usually just, you know, you might want to make a change, but that group was playing well, so you, you know, and we had, I guess, Keevan had fouled out uh, Davenport, and he's he was he was having an okay game. Uh, really, what he was struggling shooting the ball, but but I was impressed we were near. So we, it's sort of a feel, but you want to make sure you keep everybody together. Make sure they there's a, there's a lot of positive vibes coming from myself and the coaching staff, um, and make sure that we are, we know what each situation is as far as um, you know the score, the time on the clock, you know who's guarding whom, matchups is, is critical. And I thought we did a great job at the end there and. Especially, I got to get, you know, uh, Jeremiah did a great job. He got, he tipped that ball as he was inbound, and they were inbounding it, which was, uh, but no, we just want to play the game the way it was under control. And that's how, that's the mentality we use. In the second half, you tried out a couple different things, trying to get the offense going. Malik Rhodes played a lot, and especially at the end of the game, he's kind of coming into a role on the team. Can you talk a little bit about Malik playing at the end of the game? Well, he's he's done some good things defensively. He struggled shooting the ball. He couldn't make a jump shot, and uh, you know, it was a clutch. It was a three on two. I thought he should have taken it to the basket, you know. But he's um, people have to understand their roles, and his his role is to when he comes in the game is to you know play tough, hard nosed defense. You know, be in the right spot. You know, you know, find the open man because he is considered a point guard. 
Uh, but again, you know, 12 minutes, and looking at his box score, he didn't. He had, he did have one assist. I, I thought he should have taken both of those back, those shots. I thought he should have drove both of those to the basket, especially in late game situations. That's what you wanted to do. Yes. But you're right, he has been in late game and done some good things for us. Coach, you had a large volume of three-point shots, but a low percentage. Where do you see the three-pointer in this team's arsenal? <laughs> just like it is where it is. We're not, you know, we, we just, we took threes we shouldn't have taken. And that's, that's, that's uh, but again, they were in zone, picking and probing, trying to go inside out. Uh, but yeah, there was entirely too many threes, we, especially with it. The percentage that we shoot. Uh, pardon me? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if we can make more than seven than 34, I'd like, you know, but um, but obviously we didn't, obviously we haven't been shooting it well. Um, but I like the way we, we got, um, you know, we scored off turnovers. We got the ball in the paint, even though we shot a bunch of threes. Um, I thought second chance points was a big help, and those are things that, um, again, uh, you know, we had guys are not shooting the ball in rhythm, and a lot of time it's a bad pass, and you should never shoot a bad pass. And we had a couple times that we that we did that instead of making the extra pass or running the clock down and having to have to you know throw up a, a you know a shot with no time on the shot clock has been a problem for us too. Uh, Coach, I don't believe you've let it half this year. Um, what has been the struggle? Pardon me? I don't believe you led at half this year. I don't um, know. What has been the struggle in the first 20 minutes for you guys? Well, we start off with like gangbusters tonight. You know, people go zone, and then we become a little more uh, hesitant, and we, we really have taken some bad shots. Just some bad shots, and that's what, that's what leads to poor percentages. Either a bad shooter taking bad shots or a good shooter taking bad shots. And um, in our situation, you know, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, so that's been that's been our biggest challenge. Guys will settle for things when we and we probably need to look at our offense and see what we need to do to, to get more movement, more cuts to the basket. Uh, but it's early yet. We're still learning. You know, we have. You know, this is our what. Sixth game, and that was this was their what, ninth game. So it makes a difference when you have games under your belt, and we'll get it. We'll improve, we'll improve in that area. The players also talked about the slow starts, and it's basically almost coming down to chemistry. Do you think as more games are played and guys get more familiar with each other, are able to get sustain those um, and not go in those scoring droughts where you don't score for five, six minutes at a time, like it was in the first half? Yeah, we got to be a lot smarter. We had guys make shots and we didn't go back to them. We just have to be, you know, we have to be conscious of that. So if that's chemistry, that's chemistry. But I guess, you know, we, uh, we, we've, uh, and you know, when you have so many new, new faces and new players that are learning a new system, we knew it was going to take time. But I'm, I'm really uh, concerned about, and tonight we're better. We had a better, we had more assists and turnovers for the first time in a while. So I hope we can continue to, um, to move the ball and pass the ball and find people open. I think that's where our biggest challenge is. We're not, and again, people are hesitant because I don't know, just hit the open man. We're having trouble just because it looked like we're looking for something else. And so that's a real problem. So you're right, that is chemistry. If I'm standing open, throw me the ball. And don't wait to throw it to somebody else. And that's, um, that. And, and so it's a matter of trust. Trusting that if, if Mike has a guy on his back, Getting the ball. I mean, that's your job as a wing or a point guard or a guy or perimeter the guy. And we work on it every day. And then it's your job to really post the guy up hard and 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 um, and seal him. And, and we're not. I, I don't. I just don't understand why we can't do it. We work on it every day, and that's a real challenge for us. But again, we don't have the most mobile post players. I mean, and I don't want the footwork in there, and so. Uh, I was impressed with their footwork. Their big guy really did a great job of getting us on his back and keeping us there. But it's things that we can learn. The game is a lot different at this level than it is in high school or junior college. And that's what, we, that's what they, they're, trying to, they're trying to acquire that knowledge. Yeah. So after the UAB game, you said that you're working on finding this team's identity. Yeah. And then Jeremiah Martin reiterated that again today. Do you think 
pressing and causing chaos, like Kareem Bruton said, with the press is going to be part of that identity going forward, a big part or just a small part that you deploy occasionally? Well, you know, we, we were doing a good job of pressing, and then we didn't make shots. And it's hard to press when you're retreating or when you're turning the ball over the way we did in the first half. What do we have in the first half? We had we took care of the ball better, but in the first half we were turning it over, and, and that's a real problem, and that leads to, you know, and if you don't defend, um, and, and and if you don't finish around the rim, which we weren't doing early in the game, it's hard to. Yeah, I like to be up tempo, pressure the ball, get out and extend our defense, and then we have a. You know, a lot of these guys have never really pressed, not the way, not at this level, and understand that you, you can't gamble. It's not you're not playing high school junior. You got you got some pretty good athletes that are gonna make you pay when you don't when you don't contain and defend the right way. If you don't, if you don't move your feet, they're going to burn you. They're going to burn, and, and, they, and good teams like Mercer or anyone else, like UAB did, they're going to punish you. And so we have a real problem, one-on-one -on -one driving line. And I mean, like, I think they had, I mean, I think they shot 12 layups in the first half. I mean, just, and, you know, against UAB, it was the same thing. And it's like that just about every game. So we really need to, um, knuckle down and hunker down and, and contain people. So that's something we're working on, and, and I think we'll improve it. And now if we can do that and we can score, then we can get into our press and be more of a up-tempo team. Thank you. Thank you.